Emma Raducanu, a British professional tennis player, reached a career-high ranking of number 10 by the Women's Tennis Association, WTA, on the 11th of July, 2022. She is the first British woman to win a Grand Slam singles title since Virginia Wade at the 1977 Wimbledon Championships. Raducanu made her WTA Tour debut in June 2021 and reached the fourth round in her first major tournament. At the 202H1 US Open, she became the first qualifier in the Open era to win a major singles title without dropping a set. As of a recent update, Emma Raducanu out of Indian Wells after losing to world number two, Arena Sabalenka in straight sets, while Cam Norrie's tournament ended in defeat against Gail Monfields. Actually, who is this young tennis beauty champion, Emma, we are talking about? Welcome to Tennis Flicks, a channel dedicated to the latest and greatest in the tennis world. You will be captivated by today's amazing video. Emma Raducanu, beauty or champion you decide. Let's get started. So without further delay, let us look into the tennis beauty champion Emma Raducanu's success in career along with her beauty passion. Emma's wins, the US Open title and becomes the ambassador of Dior, also her exceptional entry at Met Gala. Tennis is a visually appealing sport, and many female tennis players are featured in magazines and publications. Beauty plays a significant role in their success, and several beautiful female tennis players from around the globe are included in this list. British tennis queen Emma Raducanu, Sonia Mirza, Eugenie Bouchard, Cece Bellis, and Paula Bardoza are among the most beautiful tennis players. Emma Raducanu made history in 2021 by winning the US Open title, signing several sponsors such as Dior, Porsche, Tiffany, and HSBC Bank. Her Romanian-Canadian ancestry has given her a unique beauty. Sanya Mirza, the greatest female Indian player of all time, single-handedly carried India in the WTA ranks for years. She was the first Indian woman to win a title and a major title, which she replicated four more times. Emma Raducanu stunned the world when she won the 2021 US Open's women's singles, a historic win that instantly made her one of tennis's biggest stars. The athlete, who was 18 at the time, became the first British female Grand Slam champion since Virginia Wade's 1977 win at the Wimbledon Championships. Outside the tennis court, Raducanu, who is based in the UK and of Chinese and Romanian descent, has been making strides in the fashion world. Her surprise attendance at the Met Gala last year, the 18-year-old British tennis star represented the women's wear collections of French luxury fashion houses as well as its skincare and makeup categories. Ahead of the announcement, Emma Raducanu was spotted at the world premiere of the James Bond film No Time to Die in September, wearing a Grecian-style gown designed by Dior's creative director, Maria Grazia Ciuri, for the Cruise 2022 collection. The Dior gig isn't Raducanu's first foray into the fashion world. She made her Met Gala debut last month in a printed black-and-white Chanel ensemble before signing on with Tiffany & Company as an ambassador to the famed jewelry brand. Beauty Tips of Emma Emma enjoys her morning routine, turning off the alarm and going downstairs to make breakfast. She finds it calming and enjoys it as a form of meditation. Emma is a dedicated tennis player and is meticulous about her diet, ensuring she gets her breakfast right each morning. She also incorporates yoga into her training routine. Emma's beauty priority is to cleanse her skin before bed to prevent breakouts due to sweat accumulation from training. She uses light makeup like Dior's La Mousse, which makes her skin feel fresh and natural. She believes this is essential before bed and for waking up the next morning. Her light texture and smoothness make her skin feel fresh and natural. BBC Sports Personality of the Year 2021 Emma Raducanu Emma Raducanu won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year 2021 award, marking her first Grand Slam singles title at the US Open. At 18, she became the first qualifier in the Open era to win a Grand Slam title and the youngest women's major champion since Maria Sharapova won at Wimbledon in 2004. The award was decided by a public vote from a list of shortlisted nominees, including Raducanu, Tom Daly, swimmer Adam Peaty, Tyson Fury, footballer Raheem Sterling, and Paralympic cyclist Dame Sarah Story. Raducanu's summer began with her WTA main draw debut at Nottingham in June, followed by a wild card for Wimbledon. She won three matches at the All England Club before retiring mid-match against Isla Tomljanovic in the fourth round. Raducanu won the US Open final in Flushing Meadows, sealing the title with a straight sets victory. She has since competed in three WTA events, including Linz, Austria, and London. Raducanu, a British tennis player, made her WTA Tour debut in June and was handed a wild card into the main draw at Wimbledon. 
She became the youngest British woman to reach the Wimbledon last 16 in the Open era. However, her dream ended tragically when she was forced to retire due to breathing difficulties. In September, Raducanu won the US Open title, becoming the first qualifier in the Open era to win a Grand Slam, the youngest women's Grand Slam champion since Maria Sharapova at Wimbledon in 2004, and the first woman to win the US Open without dropping a set since Serena Williams in 2014. She will enter 2022 ranked 19th in the world with a new coach, Torben Belts. Raducanu returned to the tour in January 2024, accepting a wild card into the 2024 Auckland Open and the 2024 Australian Open. She initially placed outside the main draw cutoff, but withdrew from two exhibition tournaments before the Australian Open due to soreness. Raducanu defeated Shelby Rogers in the first round of the Australian Open, but lost in three sets to Wang Yafan. She had been under scrutiny for her rapid coaching and hiring and dismissing strategies. Emma's career and championship as a sports person. Raducanu made her ITF debut at 13 and won the Nike Junior International in Liverpool, becoming the youngest ever winner of an ITF under-18 tournament. She won two titles at the Yonex ITF Hamburg and ITF Oslo Open in 2017. Raducanu turned professional in 2018 and alternated between junior and professional tournaments. Emma Raducanu, a rising tennis sensation, began her journey with tennis at the age of five. She has since pursued various sports activities, including basketball, golf, karting, and ballet. Her passion for challenge and personal growth extends beyond sports, as she supports her favorite Formula One races and football club Tottenham Hotspur. In 2018, she secured her first Junior International Tennis Federation, ITF title, marking a significant milestone in her career. She joined Britain's Billie Jean King Cup team in 2020 and continued her rise to the top of the sport. Raducanu's journey began at the Viking Open Nottingham, where she faced a tough defeat against Harriet Dart, but displayed her tenacity by storming into the quarterfinals. She received a world card entry to the championship's women's singles draw, making her the youngest British player in the Open era to achieve such a feat. Emma Raducanu's popularity and market value have skyrocketed during her time on the junior circuit. In September 2021, she became an ambassador for prestigious jewelry brand Tiffany & Co., followed by a partnership with Dior in October 2021. In December 2021, she partnered with British Airways and Evian, a French bottled water brand. In November 2021, she captivated audiences with an enchanting Christmas advertisement for Sports Direct. In March 2022, she added British telecommunications firm Vodafone and German automobile manufacturer Porsche to her impressive roster of endorsements. In June, she secured a lucrative four-year deal with British multinational bank HSBC. Raducanu's success and endorsements have solidified her status as an international tennis superstar. Growing up, the two players that she looked up to were Lina because of her mental strength and incredible movement and Simona Halep because Emma loved the way she played and was able to fight without being the biggest player out there. And with that positive note, today's video has come to an end. We looked at Emma Raducanu, beauty or champion you decide, by unveiling the facts behind it. We sincerely hope you found enjoyment in gaining insights into Emma Raducanu's passion for beauty along with her career. Which of the Emmas you like the most? For more intriguing content, don't forget to comment on your favorite part of our video and why, like subscribe and click the notification bell. Until then, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you have a video idea for our channel, please comment and our team will respond immediately. Game, set, match.